Dr. Cullen, thank you for joining me here today. My pleasure. Tell me a little bit about your job as the director for the Center of Population Health Sciences. Okay. So it was, it was uh, clear, I think, to many of us over the last couple of years that among the fabulous uh, scientific work going on in the biomedical arena at Stanford that the so-called dry lab scientists, the quantitative sciences and their link to social sciences and biology was sorely missing. Hmm. Not that there weren't lots of activities going on and a, a very active faculty, but there was no glue, there was no sort of centerpiece, there was no single department or organization that brought investigators of very disparate types together at the table to study uh, basically what happens from the day you get your genome at the moment of, of, uh, of, of conception uh, through the life course and how all of the various social and biologic uh, influences that go on during that long period influence your ultimate health outcome, even before you get into the healthcare environment. So as an expert on these kind of environmental and social determinants of health, what in your opinion are some of the more exciting or interesting ones that you're focusing on? Right, so, so my own personal work over, uh, over a career has been in the area of, of sort of the, the work period, the okay. period between you know, when everyone finishes schooling right. and retirement. So occupational uh, exposures. Occu occupational exposures, occupational, occupational environment writ large, which includes the social environment at work, the social networks at work, the economic aspects of work, um, how one uses that period of time to build or fail to build financial security, how one uses that time to, to develop or not develop the kinds of relationships that will sustain you both at work and, and in family for the rest of your life. So the, the work period turns out to be a complex and pretty interesting period of our of our life and has huge impacts on health in many directions. It's very interesting because I think a lot of people think about, you know, wearing their Fitbit or what can I do outside of work, but the vast majority of adults spend the grand portion of their time at work. Once you discount sleeping, which is itself yeah. very important, work, sure. is, work is overwhelming the, the majority of time for the rest of us and unfortunately for some of us, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly the majority of our time because work has grown quite large in the modern uh, era in which we can all carry work home with us without much difficulty and unfortunately often do. So certainly we can imagine ways that work is detrimental to health or supportive, but have you found anything that's really surprising that really surprised you from that data? Well, you know, it, it, none of this is, is, uh, is unambiguous. So for example, there's long, long standing knowledge that compared to not working, work is fantastic, even if you to put into, take into consideration, you know, all of the different selection factors that lead people in or out. So for example, when a, when a, a large employer closes their doors mm -hmm. and many people of how whatever strength are suddenly thrown out of work for periods of time, there's not only the immediate economic disruption, but enormous impacts, negative impacts on people's health related to the stresses, the insecurities, wow. the, the secondary consequences of you know, lose, losing work, losing its critical connection to healthcare in our society, um, and so forth. So work is, work is, as I said, is both a very good thing for mm -hmm. our health and a potential detriment to our health, and it depends a lot on um, on how it's done, what the physical environment of work is like, but also what the social environment is like. Um, so do you form social networks? Can you really talk to people? Is it a place that you leave the day feeling basically growth and support, and support or is it a place you leave frustrated, anxious, and worried about the next day? And uh, we, have, we have fairly good evidence suggesting that it matters quite a lot in terms of your outcome. That's fascinating. Right. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's my pleasure.